Welcome to our team VIP call. I'm excited to welcome you to tonight where we're going to hear from Kristen McNair. Um, she has a lot of great things to say, so I'm excited to hear from her. But before we begin, I'm going to hand it over to Rachel Johnson. She's going to go over recognition from this month. Let me unmute myself. Okay. Uh, we still have a few days left of this month, but what an incredible April we've had so far. Collectively, our team has helped 203 people get started on their health and fitness journey or find a better solution at home for it. So that's so exciting. And I hope that serves as a reminder to you that there are so many people out there who not only need this, but who are actually ready to say yes. Maybe not everybody, but there's plenty of people who are. So leading our team this month is Jessica at Success Club 24. Oh, so for anybody that's new, every time you sign up somebody with a challenge, a customer or a coach with a challenge pack or Shakeology on Home Direct, that's two Success Club points. So you can take these numbers and divide them by two, and that's how many people each coach has helped so far this month. So Jessica leading the team at 24, Leah at 20, also having locked in Success Club 10 is Jordan at 18, Annie at 14, Katie, Genevieve, myself, Kristen, and Raquel at 12, and Arivai, Ailey, Anna, Nancy, Laura, and Caitlin at Success Club 10. Having locked in Success Club 5 with eight points so far is Lindsay, Jenny, 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 Carol, Sierra, Ashley, Mickey, Chris, uh, and then Success Club 6 is Carol, Sierra, Ashley, Mickey, Crystal, Whitney, Elizabeth, Jennifer Flores, Valeria, um, Megan, Lou, Chelsea, and Angela, and just one person away from having in locked in, for ha from having locked in Success Club for the month is Jessica, Hannah, Dakota, Jessica, another Jessica, uh, Rachel, Jennifer, Libby, Kath Kathleen, Emily, Kelly. Kristen, Shanna, Amanda, and then having helped one person so far this month is Cindy, Marissa, Carrie, Alini, Rachel, Emily, Donna, Tracy, Molly, Kristen, Christy, Monsi, Alyssa, Rochelle, Ashley, Teresa, Tracy, Amanda, Yvonne, Ashley, Tori, Lindsay, Mandy, Courtney, uh, Caitlin, Christina, Jordan, and Megan. I think that is the most names we've ever had to say so far. So congratulations to everyone that's um, gone out there and put themselves out there and reach out to people and really help people get started this month. And then big congrats again to Shauna Thompson for locking in two star. Officially, she got to open up her second business center and she has already been able to set people up in her second business center, which essentially allows her to triple dip on um, income or uh, any sort of commission that she's earning. Um, so it's definitely a rank everyone should shoot for. Alyssa Mormon held her six weeks of diamonds, so she's officially a VIP diamond. Jennifer Eldridge, I'm not sure if this is accurate if you're really in week two or if you're in week three of six of diamond. And then a bunch of new emeralds um, this month. So congratulations, everybody. Awesome. I love seeing, I think, I feel like we're just rocking and crushing it. And I'm super excited for all the people that we're able to serve right now, especially in this unique, crazy time where people need health. They need us. They need a community. More important than health and fitness, I think they need a community of positivity because there's a lot of crazy chaos, negativity happening in the world. And when we bring that into our world, only good can happen. Um, I'm actually going to pass it back over to you, Rachel Johnstone, so that you can announce Kristen, um, introduce her a little bit to our team. For those of you that don't know her, she did do a live video in our team VIP page this week. If you didn't get a chance to see that, please stop by so you can hear more of her story. But I'm going to let Rachel introduce for tonight. So excited for y'all to hear from Kristen. Um, she signed up at you. You hopefully have watched her live video. If you haven't, go back and do that tonight or tomorrow while you're getting ready or just while you're listening in the shower or while you're working out. Um, she dropped a lot of really great information there, but she's just such not she's a wonderful human, first of all, um, but has been a rock star coach on our team and to me a rock star is somebody who's just really consistent and solid 
She's not hitting, it's not like she's hitting Success Club 100 every single month, but she's hitting Success Club every single month. And she's showing up for her business. She's getting out of her comfort zone regularly. And she's like doing the things. And that's what's leading, that's what's grown her business so much in the last almost year and a half, right? Super exciting thing about Kristen and her team is that they have everything in place to officially start their one-star qualification, one-star diamond qualification next Thursday. So, so freaking excited that your first team call happens to be when you're about to start your one-star qualifying. So really, really excited for you. And um, go ahead and take it away, Kristen. Okay, I am going to share my screen. Okay, um, so first of all, if you guys, can y'all hear me first of all? Okay, um, I am a super nervous talker. And even though I've been doing this for a year and a half, like this, my heart is thumping. I was totally fine until I got on the team call and now I'm nervous. So um, you'll see in my next slides, I have everything written out so that I don't have to think. So. Um, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I have grown my business with urgency and with consistency, like Rachel mentioned. Um, so a little bit about me, um, a year and a half ago, and it's still a little bit, but a year and a half ago, this right here would have terrified the crap out of me. And I would have found a way out of it. Like if Rachel would have asked me to do this, I would have figured out some way to get out of doing this. Um, it's completely outside of my comfort zone because I'm an introvert, but I know that watching these team calls over the last year and a half has given me a lot of knowledge and a lot of value, and I've grown my trust in the community and everyone that I get to see every Sunday night. So tonight, I feel comfortable sharing with you guys and just excited because I'm sharing with people that I've grown to know over the year and a half that I've been doing this. So because I'm an introvert, and I'm doing this right now, you can do this too. Um, and my biggest favorite quote right now is action cures fear. So when you love what you're doing, you can't help but share. And we tell our challengers that all the time when we ask them to post in our challenge groups and share their transformations. So I love what I'm doing and I honestly spent most of today preparing for this. So I'm sharing it with you guys tonight. Um, when I started coaching, um, I was living in a frantic, anxious, just nervous state. Um, and when I bought my first challenge pack, I tried to return it before it even got to my doorstep. Um, I even contacted coach relations and tried to return it. And they told me, no, it's already on the way, but when it gets there, you can fill out the return form and, and, and send it back to us. Um, and that was too much trouble for me. So I just kept it and opened it. And here I am a year and a half later, still doing it. Um, personal development that first week from ordering my challenge pack was huge. Um, the day I ordered the challenge pack, I texted Rachel like literally 24 hours telling her that I wanted to return it. I didn't want to do it. I, this was too much to add to my plate. I'm already too busy. Um, and she asked me if I had read Girl, Wash Your Face, Girl, Wash Your Face. And I said, no. So she sent me the audible version of it. And my commute to work is 30 to 45 minutes. So I listened to it in my car on the way to work, on the way home from work, and literally cried while listening to it because it was so relatable to what I was going through at the time. And I had never done personal development before. And that kind of solidified to me that I was making the right choice and I needed this in my life. So um, she told me to not sugarcoat anything for you guys tonight because I can be very supportive and tell you that everything is super easy to do, but this takes hard work and it takes determination and grit and consistency <laughs> and sacrifice, but it is all worth everything that you put into it. Um, so how to create urgency while you're building. So if you're a brand new baby coach or you're trying to build to diamond, um, I have been there just in the last year and a half. So get to Emerald 
as soon as possible. And I know we've all heard this from multiple people. You probably heard it from your upline or from your friends, um, but get to Emerald and don't drop. And you should get there within the, your first week, um, if not 24 hours. Um, and then Diamond should not take you more than two to three months or even sooner uh, for me. I knew that my upline needed a diamond for her qualification for the end of December. I had no clue what that meant at the time. I just knew she needed a diamond and I wanted to be that person because it seemed so important to her at the time. So I was like, I can do that. I can do those things. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. So if you let your team know what your goals are and tell them what they should be striving for within their own business and how they fit into your big, bigger business, you can build together a lot quicker. And it's a lot more fun when you've got that excitement because excitement is contagious and that goes both ways. Like I'm excited for my current team to be building and then I see how excited they are to be hitting Emerald that that makes me even more excited to keep growing mine. So it goes both ways. Um, setting a date that you want to achieve your goal and look at it daily. Y'all, I forgot that like four team calls ago, Jessica Warren had us highlight next Thursday as the date to lock in and begin qualifying for whatever you want. And I still have that date as next Thursday highlighted. And that's the date that I and my team will start qualifying for one star. So whatever date you set, like put that down and look at it daily and you will achieve that. Um, you have to have a heart for helping others. And our CEO, Carl Deichler said, this business is built on transformations, not transactions. And when you're super new at building your business, you're, you're thinking, okay, what do I need to do to get the commissions? How do I start earning an income? Because a lot of us, like me especially, I was drawn into the income to begin with, and I wanted to build the income to begin with. But then I started to learn, okay, if I help people transform their lives, the income just is a natural reflection of that. Um, and so when we begin to share our journey from our hearts, we're authentically inspiring and empowering others to lead healthy and fulfilling lives, which is the mission of Team Beachbody. So my biggest tip, this is one of my favorite things, is to learn to work like you're going on vacation or like it's the last day of the month. Learn to work like you're going on vacation because like if I'm going on vacation tomorrow, which isn't gonna happen because of COVID, but if I'm going on vacation tomorrow, I'm gonna work my butt off today because I wanna enjoy the rest of however long I'm gonna be gone. So that amount of work that you get done, that hustle, that grit, that grind, that needs to be your daily focus. Like however much you harness in that amount of time, get that done daily. Um, or like it's the last day of the month and you're at Success Club Zero. I've been at Success Club Zero the last week of the month and I've been at Success Club Six the first week of the month. So I've been on both ends of the spectrum and I've still hit it because I've been consistent over time and put in the work. Um, so again, your consistency over time matters. Like even though I worked my butt off this week, doesn't mean that this week I'm gonna hit Success Club. This week's work is gonna pay off six months from now. Um, so I trust the process and I don't worry about the how because I know I'm taking daily actions that are gonna plant seeds for future growth and lead, to, lead toward my goals. So I like, I like, I even tell my coaches to set a goal, know what daily actions you have to take, don't worry about this middle ground. That's where fear happens. That's where insecurity, self-doubt, that's where all of that happens. Just focus on what daily actions do I need to take to get to this goal? And this will take care of itself. So at Summit last year, Rachel Hollis, we got to hear her speak. And she said, what got you here won't get you there. And that spoke so strongly to me. And I, I kind of used it as the basis for the next couple of slides here. So what got me to Emerald is not what is working for me right now, a year and a half later. 
completely different thing. So what got me to Emerald and my first month in Success Club back in October 2018 was my warm market. My husband was my first customer. My team told me to sign up my husband, so I signed him up. And then I had already kind of started sharing on Instagram and I had a friend reach out to me. And so she wanted to join, which completely shocked me because I was like, oh, well, she clicked my poll. Did she really mean to click my poll? And she did. So she signed up and she is still a customer of mine, still a boot camper. Um, and because she signed up, I called my mom that same day and said, mom, you've got to sign up because I have to have three people to hit success club. And she, without blinking an eye, signed up. So I think that was within like a 24 hour period, the last week of October, I hit success club and knew I locked in Emerald. And then from there, I, I emailed Rachel. I was like, okay, what do I do next? What's next? And so she told me diamond. So from it took me from the last week of October to Christmas day of December, Christmas day, um, to hit diamond. And we've heard a lot of our uplines tell us diamond is a decision. And it, it really is like, I thought, okay, I've got to hit diamond. Um, what do I need to do? So here's a couple things I did. Um, only signed up discount coaches and family. Um, I rarely signed up people as customers at that point. Um, and I knew where I fit into my uplines team and I wanted to help the growth. Like I mentioned earlier, I knew she needed a diamond and I wanted to be that person to fit into her, her team and help her. Um, I spent at least 10 minutes a day in the coach office and in team VIP Google Drive, just learning what all was in there, what was available to me. Um, the trainings, the, the documents, whatever was in there, I just kind of dove in and, and took all that in. And then I built my business in the pockets of my day. Um, I put one to three hours and you can break that apart however you want, as long as you have a plan. But for me, I knew each activity took 10 minutes each. And if I had 10 minutes of my day, I did each activity, but I had a tracker in mind and I marked everything off as I went. Um, so in the beginning, it was just pockets of my day. And then personal development wise, um, this was late December, early January. So like month four of coaching, 10X rule, if you've not read that yet, completely changed the way that I approach my business. Um, I was inviting one or two people a day and that was outside of my comfort zone. And because of that book, I started inviting 10 people a day and I literally did 10 of everything every day. And that became my new normal and that became comfortable and that became routine and a no big deal to me at the time. And then what got me to success starter, which if you don't know what that is, it's kind of changed when I started you had to hit Success Club 5 in your first three months of coaching. And now it's hitting Success Club 5 in the first six months of your coaching. So I hit it in the first three months and I've been in Success Club 4. This is my 19th month. Um, consistency and grit and doing the things every day. Um, maintaining the discount coaches that are I originally signed up by checking in with them every Sunday and sending them a personal message, making sure they want to stay on Shakeology, making sure they like what they're doing. But that helped me keep my, my diamond active for that long. Um, I got organized. I committed to a tracker. I started listening to live power hours. Um, I kept notes on my phone, like invite examples, common graphics like Shakeology options, um, package options, a uh, discount coach and customer, and then common links. Like if there was a, a program coming out, I kept all that in a note on my phone so I could really quickly during my school day in between classes send out that information to new people. Um, and then in my fourth month of coaching, my upline started a push group and we had to apply to be part of that. And one of the application questions was are you willing to remove the words overwhelmed and struggle out of your vocabulary and i paused for a long time on that because at the time i was overwhelmed i was struggling there's a lot of information i was only four months into coaching 
Um, so it was a hard decision, but it was a necessary one to participate in the group and I embraced it. And since then it has not been an excuse to me again. And I teach my coaches the same thing. Like you're not overwhelmed. You're not struggling. There's a solution to the problem and we're going to figure it out and it'll be okay. And we'll, it'll be fine. So what is getting me to one star qualification? Getting comfortable being uncomfortable. This right here, uncomfortable to me, but I'm getting comfortable with it. Um, I've started sending voice memos instead of typing out text, especially to my coaches so that they get used to hearing my voice and learning that that's okay to send out messages like that. Um, going live in Facebook, which you guys saw that, uh, doing coach sneak peeks and leading a team call. Uh, having an accountability partner, this is completely brand new to me and has only been going on for about a month now, I think. Um, and if you don't know, Leah Lively right now is my accountability partner. And when we get together, we talk about how we can grow. We don't get on Zoom and talk about where we're struggling or what's going wrong or you know, any kind of complaining. And even if we do, it's for like five seconds and the other person redirects you. So there's no time to, to worry about that. Um, and being around others that are excited, that eases your fear and gets you inspired to take action. So when I don't want to do something or I don't want to get up, she's reminding me of my vision, my why, and my goals. And I do the same for her. So that's why the community aspect of what we do is so important especially for someone like me that as an introvert, I didn't think that I needed this community, but it's helped me the most. Even <laughs> my husband's walking by, even my husband's like, what are you, who is this person? What are y'all doing? Like just staring at the screen for an hour every day. And so I kind of had to explain to him like what a power hour was and how we benefit each other there. So um, it's made a huge impact on my business and hers in the last month. We've really been pushing together and it's really cool to celebrate with each other as we do things. Um, another big thing in the last month, and this is again because of COVID and because I am able to stay home, um, I've established business hours. So when I was a teacher, girls, when I was a teacher, I am a teacher. When I was teaching during the day, um, it was just pockets of my day here and there and I would get my tracker done because I knew I had to check everything off, but it's nice now that her and I have really established, okay, we're going to do an hour and a half in the morning of the income producing activities, which are inviting, uh, following up new connections. Let me open the door for you guys. Okay. So uh, inviting follow-ups, new connections, um, the, the things to actually draw in money to your account. So we're doing that early in the morning and we're drafting a post because for both of us, drafting a post is for some reason one of, still one of our, our weak areas. So we do that first thing in the morning and then an hour in the afternoon, like three o'clock or four o'clock, we wrap up all of our to-dos for the day that we didn't get done earlier but we at least know we're getting that done in the morning. Um, recruiting working coaches and staying in constant enrollment mode and never settling. Um, I remember asking Rachel last year, I was like, well, what does it take to get to a premier coach or an elite coach? And she said, you have to recruit coaches. You have to recruit working coaches. So I wasn't at the time because I wasn't talking about coaching. Um, I wasn't, even reaching out to anyone about coaching or inviting to it. So I've done that a lot this month and this month I have working coaches. So that pays off. Um, affirmations, which when I first started had no clue what an affirmation was. I remember asking Haley, I was like, what is an affirmation? What is I'm supposed to do every day? Had no clue. Um, so I do those every day now and I do business and personal development. So not just the baseline of 15 minutes, but I'm doing both. A little bit of both and then trusting the process and committing to the daily income producing activities and doing all of the vitals that are on that tracker and then how i'm going to continue to build from here and push for two star which is my next goal um, continue recruiting working coaches and one of my affirmations is 
I find people every day that want to join me. And I walk around saying that to myself every single day. So like I said, this month I recruited three working coaches and they trust me because I was vulnerable and I started sharing more about the coaching opportunity. So they now trust the process and I'm really excited to see that this is all come full circle. And it's because the more that you share your why and your life and your everyday, the more you will find your kind of people that draw into that as well. So another thing that is a non sugar coating kind of thing, I do help my coaches, but I strongly believe in teaching them how to be resourceful so that they can teach their future coaches. So utilizing a new coach message thread, utilizing the team pages, the coach online office FAQ, empowering them to help each other and form a community instead of me just answering every question for them so that they learn how to teach their coaches how to do that as well. And then my big thing again is developing and maintaining consistency. So one of my favorite quotes is either you run the day or the day runs you. And I put that in my stories like every other day, either you run the day or the day runs you. So this business is super simple to do, but it's really simple not to do. And you have to show up and you have to open your doors like a real business every single day. If even for a small time, like if you're gonna have a rest day on Sunday, you still have to open for a small amount of time because you never know who's ready on a Sunday. So it does take sacrifice. And another quote, I, I love quotes. What do you want and what are you willing to do to get it? So when I first started watching my upline, she mentioned that she gave up TV. And at the time I thought, gosh, I watch Friends Anatomy. I watch How I Get Away with Murder. I watch, you know, all the Thursday night thrills. Um, there's no way I can give up TV. And I thought, well, if I want to build a business, those are the free hours I have in my day. So I gave up TV and in the last couple of months, we actually got rid of direct TV completely. So we don't even have satellite TV anymore. We watch Netflix even now and then, but even then, like the reason I have Leah as an accountability partner is I sat down to watch an episode of Gossip Girl. And Leah sent me a message and said, hey, do you want to get your power hour done? And I took that as a sign, like, okay, it is not my time to start watching TV yet. I need to keep working my business. And she's reminding me of that. So crazy how that worked out. Um, and I communicate with my family when I'm working. So they know, like, they know I'm on a team call right now, even though my husband's walking back and forth, <laughs> being silly because he's a trombone player. Um, and then Rachel knows. So, and then tomorrow I'm starting 80 day obsession. So again, what do I want and what am I willing to do to get it? I want a physical transformation. I have not had one of those since I started coaching because I did not have a lot of weight to lose to begin with. But I feel like with 80 day obsession, if I really follow the nutrition and I really go all in, I can have a physical transformation. So I'm giving up alcohol for starting tomorrow, which is a big deal for me because you know, I love my Coors Light. I've got one right here. Um, but that's what, I'm, what I want a transformation. I want to be able to show, I want to be proof that the products work. So I'm going all in tomorrow. Um, use a tracker. I can't emphasize that enough. I've tried them all just like every fad diet. I've tried them all. Um, you don't have to recreate the wheel and the Success Club Activity Tracker was not around when I first started, or at least it was not what it is today when I started. It was a completely different version of that. Um, but before that, I went to Pinterest and found all sorts of trackers to follow. There were a lot in Team VIP. I don't know if those are still there. Um, all sorts of ones that other coaches had created. So I literally tried every tracker before the Success Club Activity one came out. That is the best one. And even though I use the Rise Up Planner and I do use Erin Condren Planners, I use the Success Club Activity Tracker, but I take every item off of it and apply it to the planners that I use. So I'm still using those items. I'm just not checking it off of that list because that particular format doesn't work for me, but I am doing every one of those things. Um, 
So schedule when you're going to work your business and know when you have your best energy and work at those times. That's super crucial when you're building your business. Um, a year and a half into this, when I show up to work, I'm naturally excited about it. Like Leah and I yesterday got up at 6.30 to work our business today. We got up at seven because we knew those were the only hours of the day we had. Were we super happy right when we got on our call? N no. We both grumbled for a good five seconds and we flipped the switch on each other and said, let's get this shit done and then enjoy the rest of our days. So we show up, we got excited, we're excited to see each other. We got it done. But if you don't have your best energy, then don't do your, don't do your work. Then you have to like what you're doing. Um, this is super important. Working out, personal development, journaling, do not count as your power hour time. Those need to be scheduled in separate because inviting, following up, new connections, those things are your income producing activities that need to be spent during your actual working hour. People do need to see that you're working out. They need to see that you're doing personal development, but those aren't the actions that are bringing in your income. Um, getting really consistent and showing up in your stories. That was really easy for me to begin with because I saw my upline really establish that and I kind of mimicked what she did until I found my voice and my natural order of things. But the tracker literally tells you what to post. Like it tells you what to put in your stories. Um, it tells you to put one healthy meal a day. That's all you need. You don't have to show every single meal that you're eating the entire day. One healthy meal is fine. And then just show one splurge meal a week so that you show people that we are on an 80-20 lifestyle. You don't have to show, like I showed that I had pizza last night. It's okay to show that every now and then. Um, and then put text on your stories and then ask yourself, what value is this offering to my viewers? Even if it's lounging on the couch, showing them that you do take time for yourself, explain why you're taking time for yourself. And I did that today. Like I had to take a good hour today and step away from the bod groups launch and away from putting these slides together and just lay on the couch and read a book and completely turn everything off. And I, I, I put all of that in my stories. Um, and then you've gotta be consistent because people need to watch you over time to build trust in you. I watched Rachel for 14 months, like a TV show, until I finally believed that I knew she was gonna stick with it. I was seeing her get results. And I could see myself doing it because she looked like she was having so much fun and I wanted to do what she was doing because it looked so easy to do. So excitement is contagious. And when people see that, they want to be part of it and they want to know how to do it too. So you're not always going to be motivated. I am not always motivated. I, I preach that in my stories. But you'll develop the discipline through consistent habits. Some days you'll be tired, you'll have a bad day, you'll be sick, but you're gonna show up anyway because it's your job, first of all. And you're gonna share how this coaching opportunity, how the workout programs, how the personal development, how the nutrition aspect of this has helped you overcome being tired or having a bad day or whatever it is. So nothing will work unless you do. So whatever path you pick, nothing will work unless you do. You have to open your doors to your business every single day, if even for a little bit. And I, I heard Rachel say this, and this has become a huge thing to me. When your alarm clock goes off for you to work out in the morning, remember that that's part of your job to show up and you get to move your body. You don't have to, you get to move your body to create your own energy, to live the kind of day that you want to live and you want to share that with others. So in the morning, this is new to me. It's like the past week or so. When I open my eyes, the first thing I tell myself is I am calm. And I just lay there for a minute. I am calm because for so much of my life, I would snooze, 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 snooze. And then I was frantic. 
trying to get out the door, rushing. Everything was rushing for the whole rest of the day. So I am calm. And then one thing I'm grateful for, and this morning it was the fact that my little puppy was just laying on my chest and I could see her moving up and down as I was breathing and being calm. Um, and then I give myself one small task getting out of bed. And for me, that's brushing my teeth. For you, that could be something completely different. But if you have nothing, try it. Get up and tell yourself, all I have to do is walk from my bed and go brush my teeth. That's all you have to do. And then my morning routine is scheduled from that moment through my workout. And I know exactly what I'm doing every five minutes of the morning from there. And then from there, my day is scheduled by the hour. But discipline creates freedom. And because I know myself and I know that I tend to procrastinate out of fear, scheduling out by the hour really helps free up brain space so that in the middle of the day, if I want to read for an hour, I have that brain space to read because I know I've got an hour scheduled later to catch up on my work. So my action item for you guys tonight is write down three to five people that you think may be a good fit for you as an accountability partner. And then reach out to your diamond upline if you need help. And you know, who, whoever is a good fit for you right now may not be a good fit for you when you hit your next goal. Like Leah and I right now are really working well together. It's working out really well, but I don't know if in a year from now, we may not, we may have our own teams and we, I don't know, but right now that's working really, really well for us. Um, and I'm so thankful that we found each other and that that is working. So I hope that each of you can find someone like that because that is the point of this whole community is to work together on this. You don't have to do this alone. You just have to find the right person for you. Um, so again, I ask, what do you want and what are you willing to do to get it? So that's all I have for you guys tonight. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got some takeaways from that. Um, that's all I've got. If you have any questions, I'm willing to answer them. That, that was so great. You did so awesome, Kristen. And I know that everyone appreciates just like how um, thorough you were and how much thought you put into sharing all of that. Cause that's, it's, you really do all of the behind the scenes work and it shows and it's why you have such a solid foundation. It's not always about like how fast you can run, but like what pace can you go to stay? Like what, what pace can you go to like stay on the journey to still be around, to be, you know, however many months you said you've hit success club to be doing that consistently. And I'm so excited. I know that you have had your biggest month ever by a lot this month. And I'm really so pumped for your team. And um, just thank you so much for sharing all of that. Does anyone else have anything? Awesome. Well, I cannot wait to see, oh my gosh, what do we have? 203 people we've helped so far this month. I cannot wait to see what number we end up with. We have, let's see, the last day of the month is on Thursday. So, so excited to see what our final number is next week and we announce it on the call. So keep hustling and just remember that there are so many people out there who need our help. Take everything that you're learning from every diamond coach that shared on um, the live trainings in the Facebook group and on our team calls and put it into action and know that every single person on this call is capable of anything you've heard anyone else achieve also. All right, y'all. So excited to see you. Anything else, Raquel? All I just wanted to say was one thing that I love that Kristen highlighted. Well, she highlighted so much. I just love it all. I want your notes. Can you post it in the event? Like it would be nice to have the slides because there's so much great information, mm -hmm. but I love that you said you had a date, which was this Wednesday to lock it in for summit recognition. Obviously Beachbody summit has been canceled with all the things going on, but you had a date and we have collectively have a lot of us pushing for our fall retreat. And that date is May 21st. So if that's not already on your calendar where you have it and you can look at it every day, if your goal is to come to our big retreat, put that date on your calendar, 
There's a plenty of time between now and May 21st to hit that goal of diamond. Kristen just laid out so many helpful tips, but the biggest one I want you to really grab onto is set that date and start. What do I need to do every single day to move me closer to hitting that goal by that date? Cause that's huge. Um, but thank you so much. Loved it. Kristen, you crushed it. You're going to have to leave another team call because you crushed it. So just know that in the future you're back on. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all have a great evening.